In class today, we had um, a conversation I had had with someone, and that's typically how this goes. Most of the things I talk about with my class and, and on these videos are conversations that I have because they're relevant and they're real life issues and more than, more than one person is going through these type of issues. I had a conversation with the lady that did not want help and she is an extremely high risk uh, category of falling. And sometimes as we age, there's things we don't want to accept. Look, there's all kind of things we don't want to accept that's going on or, or that happens in our lives. Uh, aging is one of them. But as we age, so many things start to change and I think people start to realize their mortality and that you're in the waning years or the, or the last chapter or, or whatever or however you want to describe it. And we got to talking about some different things like regrets and I didn't like that conversation, the direction it was going. My job was just, just to try to get her to understand the position and what balance work could do to help her stay independent and stay mobile. She wanted to continue to live at home, which is something we all want to do. None of us want to move um, you know, by force or, or, or we don't want to move if if we don't feel like we have a choice. Everyone likes to have a choice. And so uh, we started talking about regrets and I thought, man, there's no looking back. You can't do anything going backwards, but you certainly can do things looking forward. So I changed the conversation to fears. And we started talking about some of the things she fears. And some of the things she fears was being hurt from a fall, uh, not being able to be independent, not being able to live at home, having strangers in her home, We're talking about home health care. Um, you know, these, the, the security concerns, these were different things that brought up. So I went and looked up and started researching some of the biggest fears that seniors have as they age. And I came across this list on, on one survey, and it listed the top 11 biggest fears seniors have as they get older. And these are not in, in any particular order. They're just placed and in, in listed. It's not listed from highest to greatest. This is just a list, and, and I'll include the link here in the video. Loneliness, declining health, not being able to age in place, loss of independence, death of a spouse, fear of getting injured, inability to manage day-to-day -day living, financial issues, not being mobile as before, number 10, security concerns, and finally, having strangers around your home. And I'm looking at this, and she named eight of the 11 listed here. And I thought, your, your balance, your health is so important. You cannot wait to have a fall and then try to do something about your balance. Now is the time. These are biggest fears that our seniors have, especially this one particular individual that I was talking to, and you could see it in her eyes, and I think her biggest concerns were being able to stay independent and stay at home. And if that's something that you wanna do, you're gonna have to do something to keep yourself that way. You're gonna have to be active. You can't live a sedentary life. You're gonna to have to be social. Remember, we talked about what impacts that has on the brain. So check that link out in this video and just remember, you're not the only one. You're not in it alone. There's lots of resources out, out there, including Balance University, that can help you prolong your independence.